Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In the last video, we set up our HP, mana, and stamina bar, but I did not go over the text, and I've gotten quite a few messages on how to do this. It's not exactly the same method, so let's go ahead and show that off. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to that UI folder that we created and open up your WVP stats. And now from here, all I'm going to do is go in my palette and search for a text field. I'm just going to apply this to the canvas, and I'll just simply drag this onto my HP to show our help. And now with this text field selected, I'm going to change this to HP text like so hit compile just to make sure it's saved. And then under the view bindings, if you don't have that open, go to window and open up view bindings. I'm going to click add widget HP text. And with this added, I'm going to click on this pencil icon and look for the text over here and click select. And then on the right side of it, I'm going to select a conversion function, which is going to be a two text of a type float because our HP is a type float and I'll hit select. And now over here, the value, we're actually going to click on this, this link button and it'll open up this little bar, which will say no field selected. And now I'll click to open this up, click view model combat vitals and select health. And I'll hit select and I'll go ahead and actually duplicate this for the mana and the stamina. And I'll go ahead and change the name for this to mana text and the bottom one to stamina text. And now we can go ahead and I'll select mana text and add this widget mana text like so and follow the same procedure. So I'll select text, click select, and then on the right conversion function. And this is again going to be a two text float. And then the value of this, and then I'll go ahead and select that magic variable, which is a property of type float. And I'll hit select and I can go ahead and hit compile and save. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and select this for my stamina. So I'll go ahead and add widget stamina text, follow the same procedure, click the pencil icon, select text, and then select conversion function to text of type float. And then for the value, I'm simply just going to link it to my stamina. Just like that. And now if I were to hit save and compile and go back to the scene and hit play, you'll see that on the top right, it's going to say 500 for my HP, 100 for my mana and 100 for my stamina. And if I were to use my stamina, you'll see that it does go down accordingly. And if I go ahead and start regening my stamina, you'll see that the HP will go up accordingly. And if you wanted to simply add the max health, then you could just simply just go ahead and add another text block to your canvas panel. And then I'll go ahead and change this to max health text like so, and then click to add the widget. And again, follow the same procedure. Go ahead and add the text, add a two text function to the type float. And then for the value, just go ahead and select the max health, the max health total. And now if I were to hit compile and save and go back, now you'll see that and now you'll see that our max health is actually displayed on the right. And it's incorrect because I did not set it up in the data table. So I'm going to simply fix that by going back to my content, going over to my gas folder, clicking at my DT test, which is my data table, and simply look for the max health row right here and change this accordingly. And I'll change it to something like 1000. When I go ahead and change it to something like 1000 and hit play, you're going to see that now my HP bar is at 50% like so. And that's how you show text on your UI. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.